How are we doing, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of FSI's NASCAR DFS Pick Show. I'm your host, TK Nation 47, joined with Mega Ruler 31. Mega, good morning. Uh, we have Nashville uh, Raceway. We have the Clean Harbors 150, 150 laps on some dirt. Uh, the only race going on this weekend with the Cup Series on a mini break, halfway point through the season. Um, yeah, so what, what, can, what can you tell us about what to expect today? First of all, it's Knoxville. Nashville's next week. Um, Whoops. And, and we learned last year that Knoxville is in Iowa, not in Tennessee. So anyways, it's a dirt track. They raced here last year. <clears throat> I used to not like these whole dirt track things, but now we've got three. And I think the truck has actually do really well in it. So we've got two Bristol to look at and we've got this one. So I think we've got some good data. This again, this video, we do not have qualifying. This is gonna be a very, very, very tight window. So check back to the video, probably around like 8.30, maybe we'll throw out after we really see, but they do a series of heats and then bam, we're right into the race, just like it's a regular dirt race. So it's going to be a very small window to make your lineups, but we want to try to get you prepared by looking at the three ones that we've had. We've had practice, so we have a little bit of data, so we're going to do our best guess to introduce you to some of these scrub drivers that are out there. But we've been under time constraints, so let's get right into it. Yeah, Carson Hosev are leading us off here. You know, we got the whole ankle thing going on. Didn't finish the race last week. Last week, um, Daniel Suarez had to finish out for him. Uh, what can we expect with a week off, week off of that leg? I think he's much better here. He's done really, really well in these. He looked awesome in practice. And if you look at the thing, if you're looking at box scores, his Bristol 21, I believe he's the one that got run in the back of by Matt Bandetto and the two trucks got stuck together. So that kind of ruined his day. So it wasn't his fault. I'm looking past him. 86, great price. He was great here last year. He's been really good on these dirt tracks. And I think that he's one of the top plays today. Yeah, definitely. Second in the Bristol Dirt Race in 2022. Uh, definitely on my radar as well. 8600 is a very prime price tag as well. Next up, we have Ben Rhodes, 10-3, winner of the Bristol Dirt Race earlier this year. Uh, what can we expect with the 99 today? He struggled a little bit here last year, but he absolutely dominated that race like he was in a class of his own for the Bristol race this year yeah. on dirt looked really good in practice. I think he is the guy to beat here. Yeah, definitely going to be chalk uh, when it comes to top plays today, given the uh, past history that he has going on Bristol with that Bristol dirt race. Uh, what, what did we find out from him last year at Knoxville? Um, He was, he was okay, but Knoxville last year was a hot mess. Like, the first time they were there, and the, the other thing, too, is that there's no live pitting here. So when the stage ends, when they do pits, they're not timed. Everybody keeps their position because it's a unique track. So um, the other thing, too, is some of the people will only pit after the first stage and never pit again. It's, it's a shorter race. You can do it with fuel. Your tires... I don't know. Sometimes the dirt neutralizes them. So yeah, like yeah. old tires. And we saw that at Bristol too, like it doesn't really matter. So some people to get track position might stay out for the whole time. But what we saw was we saw, I believe it was six overtimes. They kept on wrecking. Austin Hill mm -hmm. endured the race. He didn't win the race. He was back in like the teens and just with all the attrition, he was able to move forward. And then he did well to maintain that. But, um, it was definitely not something that like he was even shocked when he was in pit road or in victory lane there because I rewatched it. So, um, and I, Derek Krause was the one that was purposely wrecking people to try to keep, oh, he, 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 yes. he, won, he won stage one, he won stage two on a restart. He got um, pushed up against the wall and um, got back in the pack. And his strategy was just keep on turning guys and causing uh, like, it looked like a demolition derby during one of these like cautions. It was like, rewatch it on like YouTube. It's like 11 minute video. If, um, and it'll just, it'll, it'll show you exactly what happened there. So I don't think, um, and I think Rhodes was caught up in that. So I think, I think Rhodes is fine. So. Yeah. Matt Crafton, 8,800. Um, any kind of dirt history here? Uh, it's not the history. He's done really well here. The only little concern was his first practice. He was really, really slow. His five lap average was fine. But after that, like something happened, but the second one, he came out and he was good. He looks good. I think he's a cash play. Go ahead. Yeah. I like Thor. I like Thor sport today. I'm uh, going to be high on that manufacturer or that team today. Um, buddy Colfield uh, racing in the 51 for Kyle Busch motorsports. Um, this has to be a ringer, right? 
Yes, he, he's really good on dirt. He's in really good equipment. He was okay at the Bristol race. He looked decent in practice here. He's a DPP just because of his lack of experience in a truck. So, but I think he does have talent. And I think that he's definitely someone that would probably be in my first, one of the first ones in my GPP lineup. Yeah, I'm not seeing him in the Bristol dirt race. So, um, or was he was he in the Bristol? Yeah, Bristol he was race? in the 51. No. He, he had a little bit of struggles just being, a, just being a rookie in the truck. He spun a couple times. That's what it was. Okay. Uh, next up, we have Derek Kraus. Um, speak of the devil, right? <laughs> yeah. He, he won the <laughs> first and second stage. He, 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 he looked really good. Um, he didn't run a ton of laps in um, the second practice, but I think it might have been he had everything locked in and he saw what he needed to see in the first one. So I think he's definitely a cash play at 84. If you can't get him in, then he'll definitely be in my GPP lineup. I, I don't, they probably talked to him after last year and said, if you start wrecking people, we're going to black flag you. So I think he's Good. safe to play. Yeah. I mean, he's going to be great on this kind of track. Um, you know, what we've seen in the hit in the past, but. Yeah, I, I, let's see where he qualifies. If he qualifies up on the front row, I mean, and and also wanted to ask you, you know, what the pit strategy being what it is, is this a race where, yeah, place differential might win you some GPPs, but it also might take you out of tr trying to pick a good play that can finish high, you know, a good high finish finishing position. Yeah, I is think that's something we can look at. Maybe I, with, you know, you, you're gonna basically your strategy and in, in just looking at like some builds is you, you want to take the guys that you know are good in, in dirt and guys that look good in, in practice and stuff because it is hard to pass here and i think yeah. they'll all kind of be on the same strategy you might have a couple of them that blow it out of the way but they did that they tried that at bristol and roads just drove by them all so it, yeah. it doesn't re doesn't really matter if you know what you're doing so i think um play the guys at the top you're gonna have to take a punt at the bottom so um you'll just again like we'll just put some notes out before so but we're cool. just focusing on guys that um we think are really good here so let's yeah. rattle off ekis smith and nemechek right here top, we got three um, guys in the nine six ten one and ten seven we got them all three studs i mean we're going to be playing a little bit of each of these guys right um smith is definitely the head of the class here he could potentially be in the consideration for prime and how well he's looked um in practice here and in some of the other races he did struggle um had some bad luck at um, bristol in 21 but the last two he's been good so yes i think he might have finished like second here um last year but he ran a really good clean race so he's definitely in consideration but it's hard to fit all these guys in so um Nemechek, i would be gpp only he's too expensive he struggled he did well at bristol finally this year but his other dirt track races he just he just seems to find trouble this year uh, wasn't anything super impressive in um in practice Ekis, i think is kind of be going to be a lost guy here because mm -hmm. like at 96, he's not cheap like Josevar or Matt Crafton. Maybe people, but people are probably going to play like Rhodes. So I don't know. I'll have a little ownership of him. I he think he did really well here last year, but he didn't. No, he didn't run here last year and he didn't run. So his only experience on dirt was Bristol this year, which he did okay. He looked okay Finished in fit. practice. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think this could be a decent play, uh, depending on the ownership. If he's going to be extremely high owned, I might be off. But if he's going to be low owned, I might be on. We'll have to see how that all shakes out with qualifying. Next up, we have Colby Howard at 7K. He could be one of the um, best value plays on the slate. Yeah, He's just been shockingly Bristol dirt. decent mm -hmm. in, in practice and everything. So keep an eye on um, on him. Mm -hmm, definitely. Next up, Todd Gillen, much on my radar um, heading into today. Looked like the practice times were checking out. Uh, last year, he finished pretty really well at this race. Um, your thoughts on uh, Mr. Gillen? I was going to list him as a prime play, but I didn't want to list uh, three prime plays so expensive. I had to throw a value in there. He's returning Make from the Cup Series. Him. He did really well, and he's a former truck champion. Um, definitely, he's in really good equipment here. So, yeah, love him today. Yep, Stuart Friesen, another guy you just have to love. Guy does no. guy does all the testing for all the dirt races. But he's been. I mean, you have to play average. Yeah, I I don't know. Like, I think he's a GPP for me. Like, he's like all like 
I know he does the testing. I know he's got pedigree, but in the truck on dirt, he has not done anything spectacular. He was 18th and fastest time in the first practice. He did a little better in the second one, and he he wrecked a lot last year here. He just hasn't delivered, so I don't know if I can play 9-9 for him in cash. Interesting. A, a Stuart Freeze and Freight on dirt would be very different to the field, so um it could be a, a boomer bust type strategy and GBPs cash might be a different story, but Hey, if, if you're willing to take the chance, then I, you know, I might, you know, you're not going to talk me off of a GPP strategy. So I'm in Ty Majeski 9,400 already talked about how I like Thor sport. Any love here for Ty? Uh, I think I'd like him again. Limited experience. Yeah. Just had Bristol this year did really well there. Um, looked, looked decent in practice. So at 94, I don't know if um, he's going to be like Eckes. Like you just yeah, kind of no there in no man's land and, and a pivot off of some of the chalkier guys, but it's all going to depend on like if he spins out in qualification or the, does horrible in the heats and starts in the thirties, then he's going to be massive chalk. But if he starts up here in a clump with the rest of them, I think he's going to be overlooked. Cool. Brett Moffitt and the 37 here, AM Racing, 8,100. It seems like I, a lot. I, I believe that, I, I, again, I didn't, I did this fast. I didn't cross check the numbers of the truck. So he might, he might be in a different truck. So I apologize for that. Um, if there is an update, we'll put in the, the notes. Um, but no, I actually like Brett Moffat here. He's, he looked really good in practice. Like he actually is decent on dirt tracks and he actually ran um, Bristol 21 and Knoxville last year. So he has um, done this. So um, I, I, I think you can play him in Moffitt cash. Moffat is in the 22 for okay. Austin Wayne self. And I am, you know, I was, you know, as we look down the board here, I'm not seeing the 22 either. So, all right. Um, that, that kind of changes my perspective on um, Moffat here, knowing that he's in Austin Wayne self's ride. Uh, I think, and I'm kind of stunned to see Austin Wayne self not here. Uh, racing in this one, so 8100 is a little bit too much. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna have to wait till qualifying checks out. Uh, in finger 23 in the 23 GMS 9K. You know, we talked a little bit about some of these 9K drivers being in no man's land. And finger is he cheap enough to squeeze into your lineups? Again, I think he's going to be up there. It's all going to depend on where he qualified. Like the other guys look better than him in practice, so I I don't know what I'm going to do with him. Eighth in the uh, Bristol dirt race earlier this year. Uh, Kaz Grala in the O2 Young Motorsports. Usually this is someone like Moffat. Um, interesting to see that they went with Grala here, but uh, Grala's got some short track, dirt track, road course kind of experience. He's like the uh, off-brand um, driver. And you think he gets it done today? Um, potentially. Uh, he, he looked decent in practice, so... I think he's he's cash viable at, at eight thousand. I think um, that helps you w with you're going to need some guys in this range to kind of balance out your lineup. Interesting, Haley Deegan, seventy three hundred. Um, she has been getting a lot of criticism lately for her finishes. Do you think Haley has a surprise day today? This is absolutely shocking. She was horrible in the first practice and she went up and tore it up. She was fourth <laughs> in the second practice. So it's there. The talent's there. Now, whether yeah. the truck's around, like, you know, what, what's it going to be? But I, I don't know. I, I think that she she is very interesting. I have to keep my eye on, like, where she qualifies here. So she is definitely someone that I'm considering. I want to see how she does in the heat races. I think that's going to determine whether or not I have ownership right. is if she does well in the heat races and she runs in the top five in her heat, then I'm going to be on board. But if she's looking timid and doesn't put, you know, her best foot forward, then I could be out again on Haley Deegan. Uh, next up, we have Jessica Friesen, another female. We have uh, 5K, the wife of Stuart Friesen. Your thoughts? Yeah, she's, she's one of the best of the cheapest drivers. Um, she has the pedigree. She is a dirt racer. She has raced in this truck here last year. She tried to qualify for a couple of the other dirt races, but yeah. if you recall, um, it was just a, a matter of that she didn't get in because they had like weather with a couple of them and they didn't have enough points to get the truck in. And we right. thought that she might replace some of the other drivers. So, uh, but she looked really good. She was like 16th overall in uh, practice speed. So even though she did, she had some bad luck, somebody ran into her in last year. So I think, you know, if she qualifies down towards the bottom here, I think at 5K, she's my punt. 
All right, we'll wrap it around here um, with the next few. Jack Wood, Lawless Allen, Dean Thompson, Tanner Gray. Give me your favorite two. Um, probably just Dean Thompson here. I really don't like the other one. Tanner Gray is too expensive. Jack Wood and Lawless Allen are um, not good drivers. I do. I do. Um, I do. I can see myself playing Lawless Allen. He's actually had some good finishes this year in the forty-five. Um, but yeah, it's going to change a little bit on dirt. I'm never playing Jack Wood, Dean Thompson. I, I'm gonna, I'll follow you there. Um, but, you know, he is prone to wrecks from time to time. Tanner Gray, usually a guy we play, but 7,700 is pretty expensive for just value. All right, Zane Smith, uh, pretty low on the points poll here. What's up with Zane? Uh, he's just not his his cup of tea. Uh, he's mm -hmm. a very good driver, but, um, I mean, he's got Gillian as a teammate here, but I just – he is in 20 in practice and he just really hasn't cracked the top 10 in any of the average place differential or average um, running position for any dirt track. So not, not as type, not as weak. So if Zane Smith is chalk or, and, or any kind of high ownership, I could see myself fading, but if Zane Smith falls through the cracks and is going to be low owned, you know, it could be a case where he just hides in the back for a while, avoids disaster, knowing this isn't his kind of track. And then all of a sudden he's in like sixth at the end of the race. I don't think he's going to Austin Hill it. He's not going to Austin Hill it. <laughs> all right. I'm just saying, you never know uh, with guys that like to hang out in the back. All right. After Zane Smith, we just get into some value here. So let's well, just start going well, here. Yes or no's and small, this, small anecdotes. Tyler Carpenter here qualified this by winning the Gateway Dirt National title in 2021. He's won it twice. He's from West Virginia. And Ooh. this this was like an incentive that if you won that, then Nice would put you in a truck for this race. I dig it. I dig it. He's got a lot of motivation. I'll play him. Uh, 7,500 is a lot, though. Is there a way we can get around having to pay that much? Can we just... To he, negotiate with DraftKings him down. Right. Well, <laughs> well, the thing is, is you want him to qualify in the 30s, but I think yeah. at, at, at 75, if you can fit him into your lineup, it's probably more of a GPP play, but he's probably the most talented out of all the ringers. All right, Tyler Ankrum. Yes uh, or no? Ankrum, Hill, and Purdy are all the same thing. They're all GPPs. Well, uh, Purdy was 13th at Bristol Dirt. Had a good race last week. I don't he know. Was, he was, but look at his average running position for all of them. It's average yeah. of 20 seconds. So you're going to need all these guys to start probably somewhere in the twenties, just to get to where they were to break. Even if they start qualify like 25th, they're better than I think that brings up their value, but no man's land here. You're going to need to go lower than this to get high people in, or you're going to go higher than this with a balanced lineup. So there you go. That's what we needed to hear. Dylan Westbrook, you got a tab for him. Canadian dirt track driver has a dirt win at Knoxville. Ooh, okay. Yes. Jordan Racing. We always say the rule of Jordan Racing not, is not anyone a, racing. It wasn't in a truck, though. So. Uh-huh. Yeah. The rule of Jordan Racing. Anyone that is not named Jordan Anderson racing in this truck can have a good day. Those are the rules to the Jordan Anderson truck. Thad Moffat, Blaine Perkins, Spencer Boyd. De Benedetto, Gase, no. looks like we all have fades listed. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, and Moffitt's an experienced driver. It's not good here. Blaine Perkins, it's just hasn't been good at dirt. Spencer Boyd's been absolutely horrible. He's what he's the worst regular driver in dirt. Matt De Benedetto was horrible. He, like I said, he ran into the back of another truck, got stuck to it. Um, just even his numbers <laughs> in practice were horrible, horrible, horrible. And he's 8,300. Absolutely not. Yep. Yeah. Joey no, Gase. Nice. Why is Joey Gase racing? He's not a truck driver. He's an Xfinity driver. He's got no pedigree on dirt whatsoever. Why do they give Joey Gase a ride? Why uh, all a cup is off, all of Xfinity is off. Why is Joey Gase the one guy? And actually, he's had three <laughs> truck races, and one of them he was seriously injured, and they didn't think he was ever going to race again. So, like, why Joey Gase? Why? No. <laughs> All right, let's just hope Joey Gase doesn't hurt himself out there today. Uh, Devon Ro uh, Rouse. Devin Rouse. Now, this was interesting because I thought Devin Rouse obviously is the first openly gay driver in the, all the series. He's grandson, I believe, of um, Rouse Racing owner Jack Rouse. Yeah. 
And I thought maybe this was a Pride Month thing or, you know, that they were like mm -hmm. supporting like in, in June because NASCAR is trying to, you know, get more inclusive and get sure. a greater audience. But he's actually a really good dirt driver. I read up on him. So wow. I think he's a decent cash play here with how much dirt racing he has done. He's been mostly in Arca and like other stuff. Hasn't driven a truck that, this much. So that's my only concern. But I think there's a lot going for him. This isn't like a publicity stunt or anything. This is an honest to God, decent dirt racer, just like the other guys that is coming in here. And that could actually is is in one of the better trucks could actually do yeah. well okay next up we have the mitchells braden and yep. bryson mitchell tried to race in 2019 in el dorado but did not qualify tried one dirt truck race in, or truck race in 2018 and did not qualify so and i don't nope. know why he's he that's why he's a cheaper one um over the next four years he's con okay so Mitchell here. Let's see if I can get the full. Bryson, this is uh the Veen's Glory of God truck, right? Yeah, he he's the better one. He's raced a lot of dirt and, and late model things. So, but the GPPs because they do have a lot of dirt patch experience, but the trucks both suck. So yeah, the trucks are bad. That's gonna be an out for me. Same with Norm. Norm Benning. Betting's not gonna qualify. Norm Betting is like slow <laughs> and on like Norm Betting has one speed and it's reverse. <laughs> Chris Wright. Um, no, e either. Like he's, He probably has the best truck out of all the scrubs. I was going to say, he has a decent truck. But he was like, he looked like so lost in practice. It was horrible. Um, yeah, but he remember, would probably yeah, make it on terrible. points. He'll probably yeah, make it, it on points, though. Year. So do not fall for this trap. Yeah, I was going to say, I remember him being terrible. Was it? I don't know if it was Bristol Dirt this year. Yeah, it was. He finished 33rd uh braid brayton laster no no i couldn't really find much on him either nothing to do with dirt or anything he's in the 33 truck which i know it says roush is in the 33 truck but roush is not in the 33 truck he's in a better truck 43 truck. i think it is the devin devin rouse wouldn't that be thad moffitt's no oh, thad moffitt's in the 20 20. okay yeah 20 yeah, sorry about this guy yeah oh so the 43 is actually a decent one yeah yeah I, I can see I can see Bryson being our uh, Rouse there. I like that play. Um, I mean, it's a Rayum brother truck, but it's better Rayum brothers truck. Like yeah, I think the yeah. thirty three is the worst Rayum truck. I don't know about the twenty. The forty three is definitely good. The thirty, like I, like what wh wh what did Rayum do? Like did 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 they have like a lottery <laughs> or something? Like Rouse, I, I understand, know. but all the rest of these guys, I'm like, why? I guarantee you two of those Rayum brothers trucks don't qualify. Yeah. It'll be two of them and Norm Benning. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, no, you only so you, just gotta, they take 36. So it's only two guys that don't make it. Oh, it's, it's only two? Norm, Norm Benning, Benning and probably Laster. Yeah. Wright will probably make it in on points. Yep, you're right. And Wright will probably finish 33rd, starting 30, 36th. Yep. All right, there you have it. <laughs> Thank you for listening in. Hopefully some of this information was helpful. As uh, Mega said at the top, you know, we do have heat races to go through. So if you want, you can join our Discord chat. Uh, you can get an updated projections model. You can get an updated core sheet for all of your starting, uh, you know, all your lineup starting needs. And uh, in live chat throughout the night, uh, I'm going to be, you know, watching the race tonight. I can't wait. And, um, you know, we got some hockey on as well. But hey, uh, join the Discord. And uh, yeah, thank you, Mega, for joining, uh, joining this morning. And uh, good luck in your contest. And, Everybody, like and comment this video. Follow us on Twitter at TKNation47 at MegaRoad31. All right. Enjoy your night. Happy Father's Day, everyone. Oh, yes. Happy Father's Day. <laughs>